wanted to get on here. Um, I made a video. It's been about a week ago, maybe. It's been about almost exactly a week ago. Eight days, maybe. Um, about urinating in a truck stop. And I just watched a video by uh, Driven Trucking. He had. Uh, brought the subject up so I thought you know, I wasn't sure I wanted to post it because it's kind of I don't know it's not a not a subject most people probably want to hear about but I think it's useful uh, given the fact that <clears throat> we all want to have a nice place to park our truck at night um, not have it smell like a DEF factory. Anyways, this is the video I made. Um, I learned about converting urine and ammonia into nitrogen when I studied aquaponics. And that's the process of uh, keeping fish in an aquarium and recycling their water up through plants. <coughs> When that water reaches soil or uh, like a rocky base or sandy base, that bacteria breaks that ammonia down into eventually into nitrogen that the plants use. So that's where I learned about it. So hopefully you all you watch the video and maybe learn a little from it and discard of your urine appropriately. Make all our make all our lives a little better. But here's a video. Good morning, y'all. We are in Haiti, Missouri, at the Pilot. You can see it from back here. But we are parked in the back. <coughs> And I wanted to make a quick video on something that drivers do that's disgusting. So, we have these. I'm sure you all know what that is. This is urine accumulated on a long trip. Illinois to Missouri. All drivers have them. Um, if they don't, they're local, or they just haul short. Or they're stopping in a truck, at a rest area all the time, or wasting a lot of time. Um, most drivers keep those in the truck. When they get full, they do some pretty nasty things with them. Sometimes they just throw the jug and all out on the pavement. But if you've ever been to a truck stop, you know it smells like piss. If they don't throw the whole jug out, they'll empty it out right on the bike top. Now, what you should do is take the jugs back to the grassy area. Mostly made up of water 
and ammonia. That's what gives it that smell. When ammonia hits the soil, a bacteria in that soil begin to break that ammonia down almost immediately in less than 24 hours and what that bacteria does it breaks it down into uh, I think it's NO2 is the first stage and there's another form of bacteria that breaks it down even further into nitrogen which if you ever plant in a garden, plant in flowers, plant in anything, and around a farm or anything, you know that nitrogen is good for plants. So not only are you watering and fertilizing the grass back here, which I mean a lot of them, but uh, you're, you're getting rid of that ammonia smell. It's not gonna stink. year this up months upcoming April May you'll see farmers in the field they're spraying uh, anhydrous ammonia another form of ammonia on the field uh, and that's the fertilizer so if you're gonna go in the truck if you don't fill a jug at least if you're gonna throw it away, throw it in the trash. And if you're gonna keep it and continue to reuse it, at least take it to a grassy area and dump it out so the rest of us don't have to smell it. That's my uh, advice on it being your pee jug. We all did it, the truck stop would smell a lot nicer.